To quote Goosebumps, Viewer beware, as we're delving into the most frightful of sights on the interweb. Junkie. Ah! How coincidental that we're playing the Goosebumps theme when their audience appears to get their fashion sense from Curly the Skeleton. So, if you have a weak constitution, I implore you, click onto something less frightful like bestscore.com, as we'll be reading from the only text in history that's more horrifyingly schizophrenic than Dr. Dr. Jekyll, Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Mitch fell cheers. Westpac announces for be paid leave for employees undergoing gender, gender transition. <laughs> Sentence one. It's not often we get to write a positive story about a bank in 2018. Ah! This article starts out like the witch. I'm not ready for something that shocking this early on. Your publication unashamedly produces an offshoot magazine in partnership with Westpac and has produced dozens of Westpac sponsored articles in 2018. A year where Westpac was fined $35 million for approving 10,000 loans that didn't even meet their own minimum standards, much less nationally accepted lending requirements. Imagine setting the bar that low and still going. <coughs> Please. Everything Junkie's ever written about Westpac, even when they're directly reporting on the Royal Commission is positive, you fucking idiot. They even had the audacity to publish. When it was exposed that they're only a slightly more scrupulous lender than Cash Zone. Five ways to finally start saving for that house deposit. Which did you get with Westpac? Um, no you should not. The only thing you should get from Westpac is a free pen. They were caught giving 66,000 customers purposefully defective financial advice in order to sell their shoddy finance products back to their own customers. So I suppose it could be a genuine mistake of junkie writers to think that they haven't been giving props to a bank all year as I too find it very difficult to tell the difference between Westpac and Amway. But I suspect the real reason you're willing to give such purposefully deceptive shoddy financial advice is that you're the written equivalent of that nerdy actor in Troll 2. They're eating her! And then they're going to eat me! Oh my god! You're just really shit. Particularly when the good news you found to report on banks in 2018 wasn't that as a result of the Royal Commission tens of thousands of Australians have moved billions of dollars into ethical institutions like me and Bank Australia that give their customers far better returns than the big four. Nor was it that there's over 110 banks to choose from on marketforces.com that don't lend to fossil fuel companies. Unlike your sugar daddy. No, the good news comes from... One of the major banks that still lends to fossil fuel companies. And I bet you'll never be able to guess which one. If you do, can you talk to dead people? Oh, that's right, you can because you read Junkie. Westpac. <gasps> Is it possible that they're only writing this article because they're sponsored by Westpac? They've announced that they're offering a full four weeks paid leave to employees undergoing gender transition! Ah! Ooh, that cuts me deeper than the incision on the shaft of a penis during a sex change operation. I mean, sorry to keep the cutting metaphors going as I know that you've butchered this word to death, Junkie, but personally, hashtag my truth, I find it problematic that you're willing to completely airbrush your sponsor's lending practices that were the root cause of the 2008 global financial crisis with the justification that they're now offering their workers free money if they're willing to make their clip really big. It gaslights me into wondering, are you just a much more subtle click hole? Your whole news site's just one big joke, right? The only positive point you can find about the wolf teeth you pathetically suck out of like Remus, not Romulus by the way, as you're clearly dying, which you desperately had to sift through like real junkie searching for a can in this dumb shop. 
fire. Of an article, get this, wasn't even because of Westpac. The Financial Services Union negotiated sex change surgery into Westpac's medical leave, yet there is not one mentioning of their name. All credit and praise is lavished onto their sponsor like they're a news network under a dictatorship with even shittier haircuts than they have in North Korea. So don't accuse the writers of junkie of being keyboard warriors. That's giving them far too much credit. They're sniffing and corporate whores who are both dim-witted and solipsistic enough to utter laughably deluded sentences like Westpac knows a lot about how to build a better Australia. Oh yeah, their grand vision of a society that's run on crony capitalism that's swimming in corruption and ladyboys. That certainly validates Junkie's stated goal of adding something new to well-worn conversations. As you've adapted the classic hipster view of I wish this country was more like Norway and used it like the all new Queer Eye for the Straight Guy that you never shut the fuck up about into. I wish this country was more like Thailand. There'd be so many cheap t-shirts, you really could look stylish on a uni budget. Now add to the mix these Netflix drones who cannot endure a single conversation without asking, have you seen the rain? Their stated opinion on numerous occasions is, um, the ants are an example of toxic masculinity. They make violent men seem cool and serial. I have no evidence for this, but hashtag with my truth. That's leading to domestic violence. Mm. It certainly is, because after reading that, I really feel like popping you right in the mouth. Their stated worldview, which ironically, they're only allowed to exercise as a result of the hundreds of thousands of men who died for their right to sit on their fat Macron padded asses and complain all day like the pig children they are that Making fun of pop songs that I personally like is sexist. They were willing to die in the name of the Queen, so what's wrong with me wanting to die in the name of this Queen? Is that the spirit of the Anzacs are making the future of this country dimmer as they were somehow, inexplicable to Junkie, Somewhat averse to the idea of Australia becoming the province of Imperial Japan. Mm, because I've always wanted to go there and they were willing to bring it here. Yet maintained that Westpac, a bank that is guilty of thousands of criminal breaches and widespread environmental vandalism, is building a better Australia. I never thought I'd hear a worldview so egregious as to warrant me saying this, but... Get the fuck out of my country. Particularly when you're self-absorbed enough to put the postal vote on the same level as Kokoda with try-hard epic language such as In a post-marriage equality Australia. Oh yeah, that was Gen Y's World War II. <laughs> Take that, Nazis. Shaming every no-voter you could possibly find while simultaneously keeping very quiet on your parent company is Ooh, Did I just let it slip that this current affair for millennials is a subsidiary? of ooh, an advertising conglomerate that took money from both the yes and no campaigns during the plebiscite, and yet these losers on Twitter, who follow more people than they have following then, have the nerve to attack those who oppose gay marriage on religious grounds. At least they have moral convictions. You sold the only principle you purport to care about even more than pink coming to Sydney. So in other words, way more than you care about sunlight to the military industrial complex of gay marriage. Who armed both sides of the conflict and paid for your pathetic $200 an article salary out of the spoils? So if I were you, I wouldn't be passing moral judgment on anything, much less what you opt for, which is everything including the kitchen sink, when describing you as amoral seems far too generous as it makes it sound like you have a moral. You don't. You're some of the worst people on earth and it's just very fortunate you were born in a developed nation instead of the Congo where you'd have the scope to do things that are a little more damaging than post annoying gifts. In what appears to be a first for one of Australia's major banks, the New Enterprise Agreement, which again was negotiated by the Financial Services Union and was appropriated by Westpac for PR purposes. So reporting it this way proves that your apparent love of transsexuals, which exceeds even that of Alex Jones, is also PR. Increased up to one year of unpaid transgender transition support leave to undertake the varying processes of transitioning gender, which I'm sure Westpac signed up to without a moment's hesitation as they have a very long history of supporting unpaid leave. Particularly in developing nations, loaning 25 million to bunge logging and 33 million to cargo agricultural services who've pushed thousands of natives across South America off their land as well as giving 200 million to Wilmar, who've stolen the property of tens of thousands of farmers who live on less than $2 a day like Mr. Mech and his family without compensation. I'm sure they would have greatly appreciated four weeks of paid leave, particularly when it would have equated to about 50 bucks. No free psychological support for them? He'd have better luck from Westpac if instead of spending it on food, he was going to splurge it all on getting some tits. It's not all bad news for Mr. Mac. Sometimes, after about a decade, they give the farms back. After, unlike Junkie's nebulous bullshit brain droppings of toxic masculinity, his land actually is 
tangibly toxic. From third world pesticides pumped into the soil and water in an area the size of Germany, most of which was once pristine virgin rainforest, and yet the self-proclaimed guardians of morality are junkie who feel righteous enough to disrepute those who've walked on Uluru once dare write, Good shit, Westpac. You're not a good person. You are ignorant, self-serving filth. Go change your name from junkie to junk mail because you are not hip riders running an edgy news site. You're a bunch of sycophantic cumberworld suffering from a five year long collective hallucination of imagined virtue, justifying your vacuous and ghost sense of self-awarded credibility to the pathetically trivial reason that you hashtag brave enough to write about how mean girls is problematic to girls in between wrangling customers into a bank that is very mean to girls. Ascending to a position of perceived power like a modern day Lagabalas through a convoluted system of corruption fueled by militant power grabs removed from this lifestyle that you worship from a distance of artificial genitals, twinks and weird celebrities that emerge out of black spheres while simultaneously withering at the sight of an actual penis like a Victorian prude. Well Junkie, this one's for you. You like that? No? Let me guess. Toxic? But the 13 billion dollars of carbon emissions your primary sponsors spewed into the atmosphere since 2008? Non-toxic. Helping young Australians, is it? Fuck you. There's a reason you're the most hated news site in the country and it's certainly not because you hashtag stand with women. It's because there's this unwarranted sense of superiority wafting from the likes of you who are lower than shit. Don't get back at these future cat ladies by writing snarky comments under their articles. All they'll do is respond with a gif from a movie they personally like, mistake it for wit and claim victory, which they sort of have because you've given them traffic. The real way to get back at them is to make them poor. Even poorer than they made Angela and her son. How? By switching banks. Which bank? Pretty much any except these. Go to Market Forces, pick any from this extremely long list. It takes 10 minutes to set up an account and I can guarantee you it'll save you thousands at a minimum, possibly hundreds of thousands throughout your lifetime. This is on top of also having a massive impact on curbing carbon emissions, corporate invasions, and most importantly of all, totally triggering some NPC cucks. It's win, 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 win. Only T-Pain wins more than that. Switch banks today and by doing so give the workers a junkie lower self-esteem than they already have. Please share and comment below. Comment. Mitch <laughs>